streaming live via YouTube and this will be recorded for you guys you can watch it whenever you want and what we have here we're going to be Atlanta Braves rebuild stream now we did one we've been doing one with the Reds on Twitch we have been doing one with the A's on YouTube which you guys have seen uh, I had a request to do one and we'll keep doing the, the Reds one on Twitch but I want to do a new one here with the red uh with the Braves. So in case anyone's ever wondering where we get the rosters, I've had people ask me, you're gonna go to the vaults, roster vault, browse rosters. And I've already had it download, so I'm not gonna download it. But then what you're gonna find is let's see here. I'll see that you have now moved, but you want Operation Operation Sports forty man draft version. So you have the drafted players on it. Um it's from June tw uh, it's from June twelfth has a 69.39% rating, over 2,000 downloads. That's the one you want. That will have all the players that have been drafted. Um, for instance, you have uh, like AJ Puck, Jason Groom. Um, you have players like that you can use. Groom is actually filthy in this. So we're going to do a new franchise. We're going to use saved rosters. I already have it saved. So right here, Operation Draft Plus Draft Edits, right here. We can now use this. And we are good to go. Do I think bets will go diamond? No, I do not. Not yet. Maybe. I don't know. By the way, if you guys are wondering if I will be chatting with some people in the chat, I don't think that will come out onto the video once the video then goes on YouTube. So I'll try to read the questions out for you guys. Um, but yeah, we're going to be doing the Braves. So as you can tell, 30th ranked team, worst. Not much there except for defense. Got a good budget of $120 million. We turned the Reds into a dynasty um, via Twitch on that stream. So we're going to do the same with the Reds. So we're going to have gym contracts just off. We're going to make it easy for ourselves. So we're going to suck on purpose for the first couple years, but that's okay. Um, everything else will be fine. I'm going to start it up. Yeah, no, that's right. We'll save it on a different slide. So first thing, because I forgot last time, we're going to put our sponsors. I really need to get diamond sponsors, but we're going to do... Since we're not going to get a lot of wins, let's do per game. I have another one that's for a per game. Where is it? There we got. So there's we get forty five thousand dollars per game, and I guess it'll do something per. I guess per hit. So if we get five hits, there's there's another ten thousand. We're not going to be that good, but that's okay. All right. So now we, what we're going to do is get good scouts scouting is the most important aspect to building a, like a dynasty when you especially when you have a, a squad that like a team that you don't have the biggest amount of uh, funds because you're going to be at, what's going to happen is your good players are going to be become free agents and then you're not going to be able to resign them all because you only have so much money you can spend so then what happens is and then you then have to um just keep re keep scouting, keep getting good prospects to come up and take their place because prospects, when they come up, are very cheap. Um, so we got Malik Smith. He's one of our good prospects. Now, the Braves are going to be a lot easier than some of these other teams, like the Reds or the A's, because they actually have a good farm system. Um, if we take a real quick look at their roster, I mean, Freeman's only 26. Greeley's going to get traded. We're gonna, I think he already got traded in real life. But um, Toronto's not bad. I mean, Aaron Blair, there's an A. Sean Newcomb. Uh, Ian Anderson just got drafted this year. We got Colby Albert. Like, there's some prospects here. I don't need to do a lot of work. We'll still do some work, though. Um, let's see. Viscayano, I'll probably keep him. But Greg Holland, I don't know why he's not on this team, but we'll get rid of him. Przinski, we'll trade. Freeman, we'll keep for now. $14.8 million. Year one of a six-year deal. That's not bad. Let's see. Rio Rui, that's not too bad. Look at these shortstops. Albini's and uh, Dansby Swanson. That's not bad. Now it's Smith. All right, so we're good to go. Brian, how are you doing, man? All right, so I not real quick. Let's just let's just get rid of some players that we really don't need. Um, and we're gonna save money too. That's the biggest thing. Just just save money if we can do it. Because what we'll do in the first like off season or two is we'll sign some actual big, relatively big name free agents. And with those free agents, we will then like if we are somehow in contention, bonus. If not, we'll trade them away for more prospects. Because we're gonna have the funds in the first off season to sign some like. I know, like, Jose Abreu, Edwin Encarnacion. Let's see what we get for any offers that I like. Um, that's not bad, but we'll keep looking. Keep looking here. 
Droop now. If we got like an A, that would be amazing. But I don't think we'll get it for Jason Greeley. Unless the team's really desperate. And I could go through and look up all the different players. But for Jason Greeley, it's not really that like a huge name. So I'll just get whoever we get here. But there has been a couple trades that do look halfway decent. Jesse Stroud, not really. Don't get rid of Dansby. I probably won't. I'll keep him. I'll do that. We get a closer and we get a... St I'll do that with the Yankees. Welcome to... He's going to be a Yankee. Nick Markakis. Let's get rid of him. And that $11 million. Don't, uh, Sean, how you doing, man? Trey Ball. No, thank you. Um, Lucas Fox. No. I kind of want to get this UNL Diaz, but we'll keep looking. A lot of these trades are the same that we just got. Alex Blandino. I, well, I, I was doing the Reds, so I kind of I know the Reds farm system really well now. But we're not getting a ton from our cake, but I didn't expect to get a ton for him. Let's see. Anyone else interesting here? Hmm. Not really. Eh, Jacob Turner, kind of. I mean, this is mostly just a salary dump, to be perfectly honest. Do you think I should get Jackie Bradley Jr.? Jackie Bradley Jr. is very cheap right now because he's not guaranteed to be in those packs, but there's a high likelihood he's in those packs, so he is relatively cheap. So that is a good investment because if he goes gold, he will at least you can quick sell him. We're going to get Ian Happ. That's not bad. Okay, so we saved some money. Um, Eric Ivar, again, we're just cutting money. Pierzynski, get rid of him. They're going to make the playoffs this season. Year one? Nah. I'll take the catching prospect for Bizinski. Greg Holland. The thing with the Braves, it's going to be a lot easier than, like I said, the Reds or the um, A's because they have a farm system that's really good. It's not like overly strong with a ton of huge names, but I'll take this 24-year-old bullpen guy. He's already a 76. I'll do that. And then last we're going to do, let's see. Eric Ibar will probably be the last guy we trade. And I really don't care. Like, I want to be bad this first year. You want to be bad. You want to have... Uh, you want to be... Oh, we can't get anything for Ibar. Can I just... Oh, I can make a trade my own. I know with Ibar, you're not expecting... You know what? Let's just see if we can get, like... Uh, there's some dominant, like, closers always that are young. Like, Zach Birdie. I might take him. Like, good velocity. Maybe throw in another pitcher or two. Michael Yona. We got him. Oh, it says maybe. Doesn't fit our organizational draft strategy. Really? Do I have to throw in another warm body? There we go. So we got three pitching prospects. And now... You know what? Let's call up some of our best prospects. So starters, we got... Fulton, no, Fulton Witz, excuse me. Bud Norris... How many years does he have left on his contract? One year left. Tehran, Wise. I mean, there's some good players there. Paco Rodriguez, we we'll, might as well call him up. Same with Shea Simmons. Get these young guys to playing time. Vizcaino. All right, that's fine. Birdie, you're going to get called on your trash. As of right now. We are going to call down Akeem Morris. There's no reason for him to play. So we get Tyler Flowers as our catcher. Our backup will be Ryan LeVarnway. First baseman, Freddie Freeman. We're going to call you down to double. I don't need you in the majors. Second base, we'll use Castro. I mean, Ian Happ could be our guy in a few years. Ruiz. We're going to just use Gordon Beckham just because he has a little better stats than Ruiz. Um, but not by much. I really don't care. We'll have him get some seasoning in AAA. So at shortstop, we'll use Swansby. Can we use him at third? No, second period. Both of those second and third. Or short, uh, second base, not third base. Malik Smith will be playing center. All right, there we go. Let's end the spring training. Right, so you like the video, so thank you very much. And this, if you miss any parts of the stream, you can either rewind it or what you can do is um you can just wait at the end. once the stream is over it will then just be a video on youtube and you guys can definitely watch that all right
So we have our scouts, we have our team, we got our farm system set up. Now we just want to make sure we scout some good players here. So West is going to scout. But what? Is he international? This Bataluku doesn't even say what his thing is. He is international. Okay, that was really weird. It didn't say. So West will scout pitching. International account will scout. Uh, let's do outfield. We want power. Central. Wow, that's a good scout. Um, we'll have him do infield. And then East will have him do, I guess, some more pitching. No, we always can find. I would feel like we always get pitching. Let's do. Let's find catcher. If you can find catcher, would be dope. Josh, you didn't like the game this year. Yeah, there's a lot of people who are in that same boat, unfortunately. And it's been kind of annoying me right now with the Diamond Dynasty. But the franchise is always fun. All right. So we have 95 players in the Okay, we're going to have to cut some players. We should have a ton of money in the offseason, though, which is nice. Like I said, we're just going to use it maybe to sound like an older name or two and hopefully get something in the, for them at the trade deadline next year. All right, let me just call a couple of these guys up to double A. All right, let's go. Preston, you love the videos. Thank you very much, man. You know, I hope you're going to enjoy this. No, like I said, we just want these L's. Just give us these L's. And right now we're off to an awful start, which is great. To almost swept the Mets. This is important. These drafts are important. The Twins are offering us a trade. Lamonte Wade... He's not much of a prospect for Braxton Davidson. I mean, a C potential for a B potential? That's stupid not to say yes. So thank you very much. Hey, Hibachi, how are you? And Sean, how are you, man? All right, we got to get rid of someone off the AAA roster. Let's call you. You know, we're just going to release you. You're 29. You, your, your time in baseball is over. <clears throat> So here we are. Now, we're almost at the draft. This is very important. <clears throat> I know with the Oakland A's one, we hit a home run with our draft. I think in <clears throat> this one, the number four pick, we got a 99 overall potential, and he turned out to be a superstar. Now, this guy, he is kind of a few years away, but he <clears throat> he's going to have a potential. He might just be our pick. I think he is going to be our pick. You know what? He may be a few years away, but we're a few years away from being a contender. He has a chance to be just a really solid player. We're going to take him. Ancient Illinois. So we're going to take him. Am I going to be streaming from YouTube from now on? We'll see how it goes, man. We'll see how it goes. One cool thing about it that I think people will like is that the fact they can then just go and watch it. If they miss it, they can watch it just on YouTube again. We're going to... We're going to take the center fielder, I guess. I'm just going to take a chance on this guy. Or I could do the pitcher from the Dominican Republic. <clears throat> but let's get a center fielder. So we already do have some pitching prospects. So if all things are equal, I'll take. I'll go by need. All right, here we are. Do we have anyone scouted? Not really. I'm in the shortstop, but that's a 70 potential. There's some 75s here. So let's take a chance on an arm. Daniel Finn. Now we got another pick here. Maybe I'll take that guy that we were looking at. Yeah, right here, Daryl Cook. Could be a good fielder, good contact, a little bit of pop if all comes out. He's only 18. That's not too bad. Now as much stream delay on the two business on Twitch, that is good. Preston, I opened up more of those packs, the um, Defense Wins Championships. You guys killed it on the light goal for the video. Um, so I actually knew I was going to get the light goal. I'm like two away at this moment. So I opened them up last night. That will be out on the 26th, which is Sunday. Um, let's just take this starting pitcher. That's gonna. We got one more pick, actually. So this draft, I mean, we're, we didn't have the number one pick next year. I'm planning on having the number one pick in the draft. And hopefully, hopefully, we can just uh, clutch out a great pick. So Kevin Gaussman for Endar and Ciarte. I think I'm going to keep Endar. One, because Gossman's in real life is trash. This year's not pitching too, too bad, but I'm going to keep Enciarte. At least for now. I feel like I can get more for him than Kevin Gaussman. 
Um, do you guys think that was a good trade? A good staying note or not? All right, let's see. Oh ho 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 ho! I believe we call that a home run. That's a home run. Pablo Ramirez or Ramos? I got that wrong. Pablo Ramos. Uh, yeah, he's 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 two years away from being two years away. Garrett Bauer, how are you, man? But, and then the center fielder, 89 potential, that could be an A. Daniel Finn, not much of a prospect, not much prospect here with Crook. But Castro, third base, 62 overall, 85, not bad. But you know what? We hit a home run with Pablo uh, Ramos. But like I said, he's probably not going to be ready for like three years. But once he's ready, he's going to just blow up. He's going to blow up the league, man. All right, let's keep her going. That was very important. Like I said, drafting is so important in this. And when you, I always want my goal is to get at least three to four B or higher prospects in a draft. That draft we didn't get the four, we got three. So Zach Lee, that actually I might do. What do you guys think? End our NCR day for Zach Lee. I think we should do that. I mean, he's only 24, he's a 70 overall, but that is an A potential. And right now for pitchers, he would, I mean, we can get like a Bud Norris. And we have, we can call up Sean Newcomb, who's pitching pretty well in AAA. And we got Aaron Blair in the majors already. And we got Matt Weiser as well. I think we're going to, I think I'm going to do that. One thing when I was building the, the Reds, pitching was the most important thing. Having good pitching. So we're going to add you to the 40. We're going to call you up, Bud Norris. We're just going to get rid of Bud Norris right now. We really don't need you. It's a corner start behind Freeman. Well, I made a mistake, I guess. What can I get for Bud Norris? Any good... And eh, he's 18. He's, he's, he's a while away. All right. We're going to call up exactly here. Why are you unhappy? Because he wants to be on a winner and he hates his money. Well, you have to deal with it. Trade for Steven Matz. Alright, let's see what we can... Let's see what we can... I mean, what they want for him. Oh, there's... I don't... I mean... If I include Wiser... They do like Wiser a lot. Maybe throw in, um, hmm. I don't think I'll be able to get him. I'm gonna call up Ruiz. He's playing really well, and we're gonna get rid of Beckham. By the way, Swansby's kind of struggling this year. He's actually at B potential now. That's not fun. I don't think we're gonna be able to get uh. Yeah, we're not going to be able to get Matt's, but I am going to call up Ru Rio Ruiz. Triple A, he's in 310 with four home, uh, 16 home runs, four stolen bases, and Beckham is just garbage. So, oh, why is he getting left? Oh, that's the non-DH line card. They don't care. Hmm. Malik Smith. Oops. Now we'll put Ruiz. Like I said, I really don't care how this team is playing right now. I just want our players to get at bats. Now we'll put in Ruiz and Malik Smith. Has Malik Smith not been playing? Did I miss that? No, he's been playing. All right, so the only option I'm thinking of trading someone at the trade deadline would be Visayano. Now, Freddie Freeman for Bergman and JD Davis. No, I'm gonna have to get overwhelmed. I don't know Bergman turns out to be an okay player, but we we're good at shortstop. There's there's no reason right now for me to trade Freeman unless I get completely overwhelmed on an offer. Now let's see. With this, I know he's 25, so I really don't want to move him. And yeah, his actually his value is not that high. 
So we're gonna actually just keep what we have. We did our trades already. We'll just finish the year. And I, I don't think there's a way we're not gonna have the number one pick. So this is very nice. We are just gonna be flying towards crap. I'm not sure if we're gonna, we might break the loss record. Come on, I do want a few wins here and there. <laughs> All right, we didn't lose the 120. That was important, that last one was important. So 43 wins to make sure, yep, easily. The worst team in the American League were the A's. So let's see how our team did. Tehran didn't pitch that bad. Weiser pitched meh. Aaron Blair, man, Zach Lee struggled. Fulton Lone struggled. That's okay. Lineup, Ruiz struggled. Malik Smith didn't hit for any power, but that's okay. He's got some speed. Freddie Freeman was our best hitter probably. Oh, yeah. That's okay. That's okay. I downloaded the one to get the uh, prospects. At the very beginning of the video, I went over it, so if you do need a rewind, you can check that out. Um, all right. So we lost Chase Darnold. Um, okay. Ortiz retired. He's a Hall of Famer in this. And there's probably Itro retired as well. I think I went by him. Yep, there he is. So those two guys are Hall of Famers. So what do we got? Um, yeah, right now we have eighty million dollars. So we're gonna. I'm just gonna give him a three-year deal. So he's a free. So he will be in our on our team till his um, free agency. Matt Weiser will give you a two-year deal. Malik Smith. A two-year deal, that's not bad. Operation Sports Full Miles, oh, they, uh, Operation Sports do an amazing job every year with those rosters. I wonder if this guy's a top prospect yet. No, he's not, because he's only a 52 overall. But, remember this name. He will be a star on, a, on us very shortly. Do I want to pay him four years? No, I'll give you a two-year deal, that's fine. I'm gonna let Garcia go. If you're 31, I really don't need you. Frank Cor, thank you for your time. Other than that, we really don't need you. Zach Lee, we definitely want to keep you. Oh, we don't want Chase. Oh, we'll keep Chase Peterson for depth, but like a two year deal. There we go. Jim Johnson, wow, you have really fallen off. I'm gonna let you go. He had some great years in Baltimore. Hey, yeah, look at that, like a two six seven, two four nine, two nine four ERA those three years. I think he had yeah fifty one and fifty saves, hundred saves over a two year stretch. I mean, but he was not a big swing and miss guy, and that was his problem. He was a guy who played the contact, and I never love. I personally don't like bullpen guys who play the contact because those are the guys who can get lit up. You want guys out of the bullpen who have swing and miss stuff. Julio's a beast, he is. He is. So as you can see right now, we're gonna probably spend about $20 million on our team out of our $80 million budget. So we can definitely go out and get someone. Trade for Trumbo if he's available? Maybe, we'll see. We'll see. I definitely wanna get, like I said, if there's a, as long as there are some, uh, Free agents who did not get qualifying offers, I'll sign them. It's like a one-year deal or something like that. There's, I have no problem in that. I'm gonna let Reed Brignac go. Man, the uh, the Braves just have players who I haven't seen in five years on their team. We're almost done. Like I said, I've said this before. I hate having to do this. I don't want to pay you that much. I guess I have to. That's stupid. That's all right. So we're going to spend actually closer to $25 million. I don't want to pay these guys five years. All right. That is going to be... It's kind of good now. You're not any good. All right. If this this guy was the only guy I really wanted to sign, and we got him for those three years, other than that, we really didn't need to do anything. All right. So now we just need to let this go out, and make sure everything's all taken care of here. All right. And these people we just offered arbitration to. I actually might keep Garcia as another. You know what? 
a two year deal worth like a, like a mil, I'll do it. Because we have the money for it. It's a, just an option. Oops. So here we go. We got Kenley Jansen. So this is what we're going to do. Jansen. The Dodgers offer him a seven year deal. That's not what we're looking for. Two year. One year. Wait, can do two years. Second year is a player option for about 23 mil. Let's see if he takes it. And it's not looking good, but hey, you never know. Jose Bautista. A one year. We're going to have to overpay to get him. But this is what I'm talking about. We'll get him for like a $15 million. So we get him. Like we have the money to do this. Morales. I'm not sure if Morales is really worth it. We have Freeman. We can't even use him. Let's see. Kevin Jensen though. Let's get like a two year deal. Let's do a one year deal out of the bullpen for what, like five mil. Sugar Bunch, how are you? All right, so these are the guys we're going after. I don't think we'll get chance, and he's the guy I want to get the most just because of the bullpen, and he's been a dominant reliever for years. Batista's 36, but, we, I mean, he'll definitely produce next year. But let's see if we can get any of them. We got Kevin Jepson. So we got one of the relievers. Canley Jansen accepts a deal from the Dodgers. Yeah, when the Dodgers offered him seven years, I knew I didn't have a chance. And we got Batista. There we go. So we got Batista. That was big. Our 40 man roster should be fine the first year of it, like your prospects are never on it. But I'll just double check. We're actually going to call it Newcomb. We might as well just play the young guys. So, our bullpen, I mean, our rotation next year will be Teron, Weisler, Blair, Newcomb, and Zach Lee. That's not bad. We got Gantt coming up. Fulton Notes will be in the minors next year. Um, We got Ian Anderson, too. And we also have Colby Albert. There's a lot of depth there. Relievers, there's some. Not a lot of names, but they're all young, which I'm okay with. You know, we want to add to the 40. Terrible free agent market, yeah. Go get a rebate, not. Nah. I mean, we're, we want Rui, Rio Ruiz to play. But I'm not sure. He's not ready. Maybe I will get him. I will go out and get Juan. Worst case, we can trade him. And actually, I'm probably going to use Albini's instead of... Uh... So his potential went down. I don't know who to use next year. Oh, I don't want to place him on waivers. I want to add him to the 40, man. So, I mean, so center field would be Malik Smith, right field would be Batista, left field would be this Garcia guy. We'll go out and, um, yeah, we'll give Juan a one year deal. Do we have to, instead of making him a platoon, do we make him a, an everyday player? Would that help? I don't know. Franklin Gutierrez, we might, we'll get him for left. We can always trade these guys too, that's the thing. Juan Arriba went to the Yankees, but we got Gutierrez. We got to cut some players. Josh, I am doing well, man. Thank you for swinging by the stream. All right, we got to get rid of some older players. We're at 92 now. If you're 25 and you're a deep potential, I don't need you. Sorry, not sorry. We will look at the Rule 5 draft for some bullpen arms, too. Maybe even a, a third baseman. Anyone? Oh, here we go. And there, we should be good now. Adam Wainwright got traded to the Royals for Alex Gordon and Chris Medlin. Wow. It's basically Gordon for Wainwright. Interesting. Rule 5 draft. So we can get a bullpen arm. Cook is always good. Actually, Newble's on our team. Uh, Walden's not bad. Mike Zanino as a catcher. Third base, middle, well, Middlebrooks, I'm good. Let's go get, uh, let's go get, uh, Ryan Cook. Let's, let's help our bullpen out. And while we're at it, let's get Jordan Walden. Definitely help our bullpen. Should we get another arm? Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take Zanino. He's, he's better than anyone else we have. And he's 26 with a deep potential. In real life, he's garbage, but we'll take him here. So we took three 40 men, uh, three guys from the Rule 5 draft, excuse me. We're going to skip our selection. I think we're going to have to cut. Nope, we're good. Aaron Nola got traded for Jason Groom. 
Robin Nett's not a prospect, but Jason Groom for Aaron Nola. What do you guys think of that? Brian McCann for Chisin Chuchu and Delano DeShields Jr. Wow, there's some big trades going on this offseason. Not with us. We really don't have anyone big to trade. We need to hire coaches. So this is what I always do for the coaches. We need a hidden coach and a third base coach. Hitting, find an A, a coach attribute because team players want those. Sign to a 15-year 15 15-year deal, you never have to worry about it again. And obviously, if they are younger, the younger is better because, in theory, they won't retire. We still have $27 million in money. How long will this stream be? I'm thinking roughly around an hour. Do you think that an hour would be a good, dis a good uh, length? Alright, how are our scouts looking? West International East Central, those are fine. Pitching rotation is exactly what we want. Cervenka will probably no, we're gonna call down Fulton. No. And we will call down Daryl Cook to double A. You go to double A, you go to double A, you go to double A. You're going to go to triple A because we're going to call up someone from triple A. Yeah, we need a backup first baseman. We really don't have one. <laughs> I'll just use you. I really don't care. You're going to go up to the majors. And now, who are we going to call down? Cervanka will go down to double A. There we go. Adam, how are you? Uh, Jose Batista is a beast. He's pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. All right. So, Zanino will be our catcher. This is our American League lineup, which I'm not too, too worried about. That's not bad. We're using Swan. Who do you think we should use? Albies or Swansby? Now, Swansby's only a B potential. I might move both of them just to get like a better shortstop. I don't know. I feel like they're both just going to be eh. That's something I might do at the trade deadline. Call me crazy. Where is... Alex Smith, there he is. I want Alex playing against everyone. Okay, that's taken care of. So this is a very important draft for us. So Wes will do pitching. We need to hit a home run on this pick again. Central, let's do outfield. And East will do infield. You can fix that. Do you not have the number of position players on the roster? Cripes. That should fix that. Hopefully we can just move on. There we go. We're playing actually not awful. Seven and what? Ten thirteen? But I know we'll probably. I mean, we're not going to be. We're not going to stick around the playoff race. We'll trade Bautista. We'll trade um, some of the other guys we got. Probably not Jensen. We'll probably keep him. As now we're starting to struggle a little bit. All right, draft. This is huge. So we have the number one pick. No free agents were uh, signed. That had a uh, draft pick tied to him. Hmm. So oh, we got a little bit of a dilemma here. I'm looking at 80 potentials. We got Estrada, but he doesn't I, it doesn't have anything that looked wow to me. All right. We got Dave Davis. Not the best accuracy. No, he... Here's a shortstop who doesn't really... He ends up just being okay at everything, like 55, 50, 60. I really don't like that guy. But Davis can have 80 velocity, can have um, really good break. Should we go with Davis? He's not the best. He's not fully scouted, but he'll be ready before Heino. Was it Heino Hosa? 
I think we should go with Dave Davis. Hope that's the number one pick that we needed. The only other option would be maybe Estrada, but like you can tell, like I mean, he's above average at everything for hitting, but not like well above average or elite. It's always nice to, if you can find like an elite prospect at something. We scouted all these guys well, but we're gonna. I think I'm gonna go with Dave Davis. He's only 20, so he has time. Hope he hope he's that stud like we got last round. By the way, that shortstop. Actually, you know, real quick, let's see what others teams thought. Number two was all right. A closer. There's that first baseman, and there's that shortstop. So they all went in the top ten. Here I might take one of the guys we've scouted, but they're all years away. This guy's not. Neither is this guy. Let's take Hal Carlisle. It's crash shift. How you doing, our shaft? How you doing, John? All right. Let's take now, let's take a chance. Actually, let's take another safe pick with Manzo. He's, we've scouted him a little bit. He may not have the highest potential, but hopefully he's a solid B. And now we can take a chance. All these are pitchers. I guess we'll take the youngest, right? He has the most time to develop. So we'll go with Edgar Pena. Could have great velocity. He's from Puerto Rico. We'll take you, and we just hope this is a fire draft. I might as well do it again, right? Unless we have someone scouted, we really don't. Our scouts didn't do a great job, I'm not going to lie. Um, You're the closest to being ready. We'll take you, Henry Ortiz. We got two more draft picks coming in the 6th and 7th round, and I will take... I guess I'll take the catcher. Trade for Julio Uris? Could. Might be kind of tough to get. Alright, we'll find out in a minute how good of a draft we had. Hopefully, hopefully it was fire. It wasn't. God. Davis is only 88 potential. That's not awful, but number one pick. We gotta do better than that. We got the four Bs. Like I said, we want four Bs, but we didn't get... like. That, that could set us back a little bit because none of these guys are going to be like superstars. You know what I mean? But, <laughs> what, we took six pitchers and a, and a catcher. Our scouts just didn't really do us any favors. Man, look at Tehran, 209 ERA. Zach Lee is really struggling. I might have to take him out. We'll keep him in for a little bit. And our lineup, Malik Smith is struggling. Gutierrez is playing halfway decent. Bautista is pretty well. Rio Ruiz is in 290. Swansea's in 244. That is not what we wanted, though. Oh, how is that young guy doing? Oh, he's on the bench, obviously. Um, let's put him in. So Pablo Ramos, he is our future. Have those attributes keep going up. Keep her going up. All right. Frankie Montas is not bad. Yeah, you're right. From a Red Sox prospect. So we'll definitely trade Bautista. Tyler Flowers for Tom Wilhelmson? No, I'm good. My full notes are... Ooh. I see ya. There's only a C. I'll trade that pitcher, though, because he looks like he's going to get weeded out. I don't know. Let's see how Zach Lee is doing. Okay, we're going to have to take Zach Lee out. He is... That is bad. How's Gantz not pitching well? We'll call it font notes. And we're going to have to call down Zach Lee. Unfortunately. We do, I don't want to, but we have to. And now we're going to trade Bautista. You know what? Can we get... Can we get him? We might be able to do this. He has a 304 ERA already in the majors. Hmm. Ian Hap's only a C now. That's kind of a bummer. I 
I can do them if we include Castro. Wow, he has a great hitting tool. Let's see if we don't have to include them. I think I'll just do that. Yeah, I'll do that. There we go. Great hit tool. He's probably killing it in triple 287. But we cut Ruiz. He's hitting 295 in the bigs. So we're going to get Julio Urias. That will definitely help our rotation. And we get rid of, that was for Bautista. So because we traded for, we signed Bautista. And I'm going to see if we can get a huge shortstop here, guys. Can we do this? Oh, we can do it. Should we do it, boys? I'll include Ian Happ. So we're going to get Seager. We just, I, I mean, that's kind of. I feel kind of bad for the Dodgers because we just took their like their two best prospects, but yeah, we're trading Swansby, we're trading Albius, but we're getting Corey Seager. We just helped our franchise out a lot. All right, so Seager's gonna be that. He's playing short. Outfield will include Garcia. Again, we're going to put Seager here. Trade for either Seager. Well, Ruiz is like, I mean, the way he's, he's 22, I mean, if he keeps playing well, look at that, 295 average, 378 on base. I mean, can't ask for much more. Okay. Now, what's our... We need to add some players to the Major League roster. I'll just sign some free agents. Espinosa, and we'll give Napoli a one year deal. There we go. Now I have 25 men on the roster. Dodgers for life. Yeah, well, we just kind of, I feel like we, I don't want to say we fleeced him, but we got him pretty good. Now we want Urias to pitch. We're going to take out. Probably Fallen Lunch. Yeah. All right, there we go. We need to sign some people for Triple A. What did it say they were short of? I didn't even read it. Minimum positional players. We need let's get two positional players for them. There we go. We should be good now. Celtics fan, how are you, man? I'm not sure we're going to have the number one pick. We're playing too well. We're pitching too well. Lara is not much of a first baseman. For Xavier Cedeno. He's not much of a reliever. He's playing well, but I don't trust that to continue. We're going to pass on that. Look at our record. We're going to really need to start sucking soon. That's the exact same trade. <laughs> All right, let's see. We are now we're starting to struggle. The struggle needs to be real. I want us to have 95 losses, which I don't think we're going to reach. But I'm thinking 2 years away from being, making the playoffs, definitely Z and Urias will help speed up that process. 94 losses. But the Phillies at 110. Right now, there's a, we're at the fourth pick. We have the fifth pick in the draft. So we're going to have the fifth pick in the draft. Yuris finished with a 286 ERA. Toronto had a 257. Wiser a 307. And these guys are both in the fours. That's not a bad rotation. Malik Smith continued to struggle, though. Hitting. Seager, 296, 23 bombs. Down in power, but up in average. Uh, Ruiz, that's not bad for a young guy. Zanino, 235, but 19 home runs out of a catcher. That's not bad. All right. Awards, we get anything? We got Gold Glove. Syndergaard got Cy and MVP. Trout got MVP. Sale got Cy. Yelich and Matt Carpenter on the Red Sox got batting titles. Pat Bond and Osuna. Giolito got a rookie of the year. Rob Ramirez in the National League. Not much of a 
211 with 17 bombs. He's only 18, though. Wow. Sandra, how you doing? Astros defeat the Cubs. Sorry, Cubs fans. Feeling director's ended. All right. Retired players. Mike Napoli. Other than that, I really don't care about those guys. A-Rod and Beltran. Two Yankees made the Hall of Fame. Let's see, where are we at? Yeah, damn, that's that draft sucked. I mean, he might be good because he's already 74. But number one pick is freaking here. He only had B potential. I kind of just want to lock up Seager for eight years. He's 23. I'll take him to his 31. That would be like the end of his prime. I'm doing that. We're paying a little more now, but we have the money now. A YouTube stream? Is that okay, Wake? So this is... My, my logic on this is... Seager's 23. In eight years, he'll be 31. We'll pay more for him now while we have the money. And we'll save money later on in his contract. So... And he's definitely worth it. Let's see, maybe we'll do like 135 million. Now I have to go out. Maybe do like 140. Same with Urias. We might as well just lock him up. Let's do a seven-year deal. Just surprising. Well, the idea of it is for you guys that it will then stay. You guys can watch it. If you missed it, you guys can watch it anytime you want. And we're going to give Urias just a long-term deal. He's 21, so take him to his 28. But we're only going to be paying him about $10 million a year, which is not too, too bad. And like I said, we have the money now. Let's just... Let, I'm, this is something different than I normally, I normally don't do this, but we're going to try to lock up our young guys. Yeah, seven years, seven, $70 million ace. Jepson, we'll keep you. We're going to get kind of a crap year. We'll keep you for like 4 mil. Jordan Walden had a solid year. We'll keep you maybe 5 mil. 4, uh, 4.2. Zunina, we'll offer you arbitration. Cook, how'd you pitch? We'll keep you arbitration. Goodyear's going to let him walk. Might as well just keep these guys. Paco, we'll keep you. Flowers, how much are you asking for as a backup? 2.5 for a backup catcher, that's worth it. Hopefully those two guys accept it. That is a big thing if they do. Let's lock up all these players. Let's keep her going. I, like I always say, this is so frustrating to go down all these, but it is what it is. And we're still going to, if those players sign, we're still going to have roughly $25 million to play with. So we can go get another, um, another, uh, player in free agency, like an older guy. And now Pablo's now at 62. He jumped up. Look at those attribute jumps. So this is the guy that has 98 potential. He went plus eight in contact versus right, plus 10 contact versus left, plus 13 and plus 12 in power. He's, yeah, he, he took a big jump. He's, he is now a top 50 prospect. One thing I wish they would add, and I hope they add it next year, is like they have every year you can check like prospect rankings for teams, like which teams have the best prospects. That'd be kind of cool to see. It could be like, oh, um, Seager signed the deal, eight years, 140. Now we need Urias to do his end of the bargain. Oh, he did sign, I missed it. So let's take a real quick look at those contracts. So Seager... 14 million, then 15, then 16, basically 17, then almost 18. He jumps up about a million a year, but I think that's worth it. So by the time he is 30, he's making 20 million. And if he was like a free agent at that time, he'd be making 30. So we're paying more now to save later. Now, Urias, he's making 8.5. And, and by the time he's 28, he's making only 11 million. That's a great contract for us. All right. So Hosmer and Cespedes, we, we're not going to go after. Because we're not giving up a draft pick for Eric Hosmer, who's 28. It's not, I mean, he, if he was going to do one of your Hosmer, he'd still got a few years, but we have Freeman and Cespedes. He's 32. We're not giving up a draft pick for a 32 year old. But let's see what else is out here. Um, Lorenzo Kane, oh, he struggled last year. Jose Reyes, I don't want a wife beater. Um, there's not a lot here. 
Judd Lowry at second? Mm. Man, that is a weak. Any relievers? Not really. You know what? This this draft, I mean, this not draft, this free agent class is a punt. Let's just make sure our 40 man roster is all set. It should be. I think not until year three you start having problems with it. I mean, Jace Pearson is a second baseman. That's we can you can do worse than that. All right, we're good. Eric Hosmer to the Colorado Rockies. Lorenzo Cain to the Minnesota Twins. And we got Starlin Castro trade for Eric Bishop, a twenty-one-year-old, eighty-four outfielder. That's not bad. And Brett Lowry, kind of like that trade for the Yankees. To be perfectly honest. All right, rule five draft. Anything here we want. He's on our team, I believe. Yeah, he is. I, I did not protect him, but it looks like no one's going after him. Yeah, there's really nothing there. We're going to just punt on that. All right, rule five draft is complete. The Red Sox, Freddie Freeman, Travis. No, I'm looking at that. I already know those players. You're going to have to put like Mankata or someone like that. All right, we need a higher coach. So we still have $33 million in money. Ooh, Nori, I, I'll take Aoki for a one-year deal as our, one of our outfielders. I'll do that. And we need to hire a farm director. Give me a young, I don't want a 70-year-old guy. I guess we'll take 60, 57, there we go. 15-year deal. He'll probably retire before that's up. All right. Now we're done with spring training. So there's our rotation. I'm going to definitely... I kind of want to try this RTs, but not yet. Exactly, he's going back down to AAA. He's going to have to prove it to me in AAA. We actually have a deep AAA roster. I'm going to have to take some people down and put them to Class A. Actually, we're gonna have to call. <clears throat> excuse me, we have to call some up to fill up some needs. So center field, that's fine. Left field, and then right. We have we don't have a right fielder, but that's fine. We'll just use Garcia and right. I mean, this year we're not expecting. I'm not expecting to win. I do expect to have a good jump. We could maybe sneak up. I don't know. Maybe. All right, there we go. That's not awful. Hopefully, Aoki can hit pretty well. I always have lefties. I don't know what's up with this. I always have too many lefties. Oh, we want Zanino catching, not Flowers. Okay, there's that. Um, but we want to make sure that prospect is playing. We're going to need some more positional players in AAA. There's Pablo. One more year in AA I think is good. I always have to fix some of this stuff. Hopefully that's good. Um... And actually, you know what? This is right around like an hour. I think we'll stop the stream here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and if you miss any part of it, the whole stream will be on YouTube shortly. And you can watch the whole entire part. Hope you guys did enjoy episode one of Rebuilding the Braves. We are, you know, we got through the, the crap part of it. And we got, like, it looks like we got a good team coming up. We got some, we got cornerstone places with C. You're in earlier, yes. And we got Freeman. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Take it easy. I'll talk to you all later. See ya.